so how y'all doing? Good man, congrats. Hey. What does it mean for you to be 13 and 0, win the ACC championship? It's what a lot of guys on this team came back to do, in part came back to do. What does it mean to accomplish it? Uh, yeah, you know that was the main goal when we first, when we all decided to come back. The main thing we said was January to January. And I'm pretty sure we on that route right now. So, and just being able to see the guys that been here through hell and back is just I'm happy to see those guys experience and have this feeling. So, that's who the guys I really do it for, like D'Lo, and he's just having an amazing season right now. It's just putting the, our bodies on the line each and every day because that's just what it's for. We all love each other and that's what we'll do for each other. Tatum, take us through the interception, what you saw and just what you were feeling and what a crucial play that was in the game. Oh uh, yeah, you know, just having our offense back and the interception, they they threw the back out trying to get my eyes, but I stayed on the tight end and just turned around and threw it straight to me. So I'm just thankful God blessed me with the opportunity to catch a pick. And so Coach Fuller, when he brought me in, he told me I was going to be the guy on the defense and be able to lead her. And then just, he lead me through the way last season. It, it was some ups and downs. And then just this season, us getting together and connecting even more, it's just, I feel like it's paying off now. You went into the injury tent, I think the second drive he told us, that's what he was saying, and then you came back out. And he, he said you kind of had a look in your eye at that point. Yeah, I honestly thought I was going to be done for the game. You know, I had a little moment, but it's the ACC championship, and I'll do whatever for these guys. So that's what I just did. I got back out there and played football. You mentioned also that you that right after uh, Jordan Travis got hurt, that you guys had a meeting or wanted to have a meeting as a defense, but he said, no, you guys don't need to change to be who you are. Yeah, you know, Jordan Travis, he's a huge leader on the team, the biggest leader on the team. And when he goes down, you know, some guys got to step up. But we all knew the task at hand. We know our backs were going to be against the wall. We just had to play football, and that's what we're doing right now. And you guys are going to be getting Daryl Jackson back for the play. How, how, uh, how big is that going to be for you guys to have a fresh body in there? Man, I'm very excited, man. That's just <laughs> added another minutes, man. That's all I got to say. You know, earlier in the preseason, you know, some kind of loss that you guys took in the linebacker room. I think you guys were really, you know, for lack of a better word, bare at times. You know, how hard have you guys worked this season just to prove that wrong and you know, to have the moments that you guys have had this year? Yeah, you know, as a linebacker core, we all like brothers, man. So we, we do everything together. We go out to eat on Thursdays and just we ignore the outside noise. We know we could be the best in the country. I feel like we've proven that, but, you know, sometimes people want to give politics to stuff like that. But. <laughs> This is it's showing on the field now, so we just got to keep grinding. You know, it's a lot of nights that nobody's seeing, and we just out grinding, and it's paying off. Man. They've got two great backs. What was the key to slowing down the, the running offense? It's play football. It just be us. That's really what it was. They say every team we play, they got a great summer, and it's been stopped. So. And then the mentality of the defense before the drive with an interception, you know, they got the ball in plus territory, they just scored before that. What are you guys saying on the sideline? You know, how are you guys going to keep your heads? No, we're just keeping each other up. You know, they don't score, they don't win. So that's what we did. And honestly, we're just going over to the offense, getting Brock and all those guys and just make them feel confident in, in what they do. And we just told them we'll have their back. Hey man, when you um, looks like your knee got banged up a little bit. Right, let's something. go two more each. Were you at any doubt that you could get back in there? Yeah, like I said before, I thought I was done. Yeah, I thought I was done, but it started feeling a little bit better. The training staff helped me, and we just got back out there to finish. How special is this? I mean, you got, you got when you came here. Of course, it wasn't a team that looked like an ACC championship team. Right? Yeah, it, I came here because I, I watched Florida State play, and I knew they had a fight with a man. Regardless of what the season looked like before, I knew I was going to be able to guys with the same mindset as me. Now, when I hopped on the phone with Coach Norvell, the way he talked to me, I, I, I just knew the voice. Finish up. It was, it was going to be successful soon.